Stand by and action. Um, have you got any uh, use at all on the uh, war, Marjorie? Well, I don't remember a lot because I was only seven when the war started. But I, my mother and dad had foster children. They had foster children for 29 years. They hadn't got any children of their own. They adopted me when I was 15 months. And, but they never adopted any more. And the lad came to stay with us. It was called Lawrence, Lawrence Pierce. Mm -hmm. And I think it's the same place in Congleton where Fed Sisters went. It was Summerford Hall Camp. I think they only had boys there though. He had to go because he wasn't my proper brother. And he had to go, he was only, he was two years older than me. And he was there till he was 14 when the war finished. And then my mum wrote up to the government to get special permission to get him back because they said he couldn't come back because he wasn't my brother. Anyway, she did eventually get him and he came back. And we weren't bombed out or anything, but what Fred was, uh, I think, uh, Rob was talking about, those ringers, they're like two rollers about this long and they had a handle at the side that turned them round and that was what you put your washing to because there was no, no spin drives or anything like that then and that's what we used to do and we had an air raid shelter uh, it was an Anderson Morrison's were concrete ones like big square brick buildings but Anderson shelters were like aluminium, no aluminium, some kind of steel that were like oval shaped and you had to dig a hole in the garden to sink them in. Whoever lived there, you know, had to do the job themselves. Uh, looking back in time, obviously you were very young, but did you have any kind of fears at the time or did you, did you pick up any fears from the adults about what was going on? Well, to a certain extent, what my mum used to say, oh, it'll be all right, don't worry about it, you know. So, of course, we trusted her. But the abuse of a lot of bombing, and we was always seemed to be in the air age shelters. And yeah, my dad put bunks in there for us to sleep on. We had to use candles, obviously, because there was no electric. And we had ration boots, <laughs> we could only get so much food and they, everything was rationed sweets and everything and mm -hmm. we used to take these coupons to the shop to get the weekly ration of sweets and that we didn't get money I mean bananas never saw them we saw a banana I think I was about 10 uh, before we actually saw a banana because you couldn't get them you know it's with, Obviously, coming in the country, but we never got any, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was you in school? Yes. At this, yeah. At this camp. So, uh -huh. how was it, for like, you know, like learning with education and. Well, it was quite difficult because there was always these. Uh, yeah. uh, the air raid alarms going off. Yeah, so they distracted you, you know, and you didn't know whether he was going to be bombed or not, no. you know. So, yeah. yeah. So, again, I guess it was getting as much work done well, we in, in between. Well, it, it was a good excuse for not doing anything, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, we could read, because we used to like to read, so obviously when these air raids was on, there was no proper work being done, like arithmetic or anything like that. Well, it suited a lot of us because we could read them. <laughs> <laughs>